And continuing with our team coverage at 10, 2 News reporter Kristen Escow is live in Kettering with the latest on the damage and power outages tonight. And hey Mark, this is what some neighborhoods look like. East David Road, the lights are on, but right around the corner on Renwood Drive, completely in the dark, dozens of homes still without power at this hour. And tonight, some people are just beginning to clean up the damage left behind by these storms. Utility crews stayed out after dark Thursday night working on repairs, and landscapers and neighbors began the process of clearing debris. Well, we got up for work about 5 o'clock, normal day. We had a couple branches down, but gosh, by the time I got home at 3, here we go. Anthony Depker found part of a tree in his front yard and a giant branch on his roof when he got home from work. He says his home was spared of any structural damage, but others weren't as lucky. It just seems so unseasonable. I hope it's not a sign of the next four or five months. Those tree limbs that came down, some still covered with leaves, also brought down some power lines. DPNL says nearly 75,000 customers have been affected. The power company has about 800 people working to get the lights back on for everybody. We're getting about 300 calls per hour in from our customers, so um, we're getting out there as quickly as possible. As some begin a lengthy cleanup process, Anthony Depker says in his neighborhood it's become a community effort. We've had some neighbors come by and offer to clean up. It's been awesome. Uh, I've met more people just cleaning this up than I have in the last couple of months. So, you know, hey, we're coming together and getting this taken care of. And DPNL says its crews are working around the clock and plan to continue working through the weekend to get power restored to everyone. The power company says the lights may not come back on for some customers for a few days. For now, we're live in Kettering. Kristen Eskow, 2 News, working for you. And the crews are making some progress. Here's a live look at the current power outages across the Miami Valley. We're now at 12,000 total without power, uh, 6,800 in Montgomery County. Greene County has about 2,300 customers without power, homes and businesses there, and it drops off significantly from there.